You wouldn't think it's that difficult to write a transition for a speech, but surprisingly, creating a good transition can be challenging. Let's talk through what a transition should do, some common mistakes people make in writing transitions, and some principles for writing a good transition. There is really one purpose for a transition, and that is to provide a smooth connection between separate ideas in your speech. It's more than letting an audience know where you are in the speech. And while it does do that, it should also do more. A good transition will serve as the connecting tissue between your main points. One of the most common errors speakers make is to substitute a transition for a signpost. Signposting is a common term in debate, but in a speech, it's not enough to just tell me where you are in your presentation. For example, saying, for my next point, let's look at, or now moving on to my final point, does not transition between ideas. It simply tells me that you're moving from one idea to the next, regardless of their connection. A well-written speech will have main points that rely on each other and build on each other. By not having that connecting transition, you jar your audience from one point to the next, breaking that important connection between your main points. A good transition will summarize the importance of the idea you are leaving behind, while hinting at the importance of the next idea. For example, in a speech about the dangers of debt, where the first point highlights some problems and the second discusses the causes, a good transition might sound like this. Before we can pass judgment on personal debt, let's examine why we take it on. See how that statement reiterates that you've talked about something negative, but clearly states that there are more things to talk about before you are done? Phrases like, before we can, or now that we have, are good starting places for a transition, but are certainly not the end-all be-all. And even those don't always connect the ideas. Use your own style and your own vocabulary to write transitions that work in your speech. Let's review. Transitions should seamlessly move your audience from thinking about one thing to thinking about the next. Transitions are not signposts. Telling your audience that you are moving on to your next point doesn't transition their thoughts. It jolts them on to the next thing you have to say. Transitions should reiterate what you just talked about and naturally introduce the next phase of your speech. It is easy to take transitions for granted, and few people can pinpoint them as what makes a speech good or bad. But a well-written transition can truly make all the difference.